New Cursor 2.1 update is insane. Today I'm going to show you the brand new Cursor 2.1 update and this thing just changed everything for coding. Your AI now asks you questions before it builds stuff. It reviews your code like a senior developer and searches your entire code base in seconds, not minutes, seconds. This is the biggest update Cursor has ever dropped. If you code, you need to see this right now. I'm testing every single feature and by the end of this video, you'll know if you need to upgrade today. This is going to blow your mind. Let's go. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. All right, so Cursor just dropped version 2.1, and this isn't just a small patch. This is a complete game changer for how you build software. Let me break down what's new and why you should care. First up, improved plan mode. Here's what used to happen. You'd ask Cursor to build something, it would just start coding. Sometimes it got it right, sometimes it built the wrong thing entirely, and you'd waste hours fixing it, not anymore. Now, when you ask Cursor to generate a plan, it stops and asks you questions, real questions. Through an interactive UI, it's like having a product manager inside your editor. So let's say you tell it to build a login feature before it writes a single line of code, it asks you, do you want social logins or email only? Do you need two-factor authentication? What about password reset flows? You answer these questions in the UI, then it generates a detailed plan based on your exact needs. No more guessing, no more building the wrong thing. And here's the bonus nobody's talking about. You can now search inside those plans using Command F. So if you have a massive plan with 50 steps, you can jump straight to what you need. Now, before I show you feature two, let me tell you about something that's going to change how you build with AI. I run the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where you learn to scale your business and save hundreds of hours with AI automation. And if you're watching this video about Cursor, you need to be in there because we're teaching people how to automate their entire development workflow with AI tools like Cursor. Imagine cutting your code in time in half. Imagine never writing boilerplate code again. We've got case studies from people automating their agencies. We've got workflows that save 20 hours a week. The link's in the description. Go check it out at school.com slash AIProfitLab7462 slash about. All right, back to Cursor 2.1. Feature number two is AI code reviews right in your editor. This one's crazy. Cursor now reviews your code automatically. It doesn't wait for you to push to GitHub. It happens right there in your editor. As you code, you make changes to your files. Cursor examines everything. Then it opens a side panel and shows you problems, security issues, bugs, performance problems, all flagged before you even commit. This is like having a senior developer looking over your shoulder and it catches stuff you'd never see. I tested this with a simple function. I had a bug where I forgot to handle null values. Cursor caught it instantly, showed me exactly where the problem was and suggested the fix. This is huge for solo developers. You don't have a team to review your code. Now you have an AI that's better than most human reviewers. Feature number three is instant grep. And this is in beta right now. But it's already changing everything. Here's the problem with big code bases. You need to find where something is used. Maybe it's a function name. Maybe it's a rejects pattern. With normal search, this takes forever. Cursor just made this instant, not faster, instant. You type your search. It shows results immediately. Every match across your entire code base with reject support, with word boundary matching. I tested this on a project with 500 files. Old search took about eight seconds. Instant grep took less than one second. And this works when you use the agent and it needs to search your code. And when you search from the side by yourself, both are now instant. This is rolling out gradually to 2.1 users. So if you don't have it yet, you will soon. Now here's something they didn't advertise much, improved browser use. If you're building web apps, Cursor can now interact with the browser better. This means the AI can test your UI. It can debug visual issues. It can even run end-to-end -end tests in the browser. This is huge for front-end developers. You're not just writing code anymore, you're building and testing at the same time, all inside Cursor. So let's talk about why all of this matters. Better planning means you waste less time. Think about how many times you've built something, then realized it wasn't what you needed. That's over now. The AI asks questions up front. You get exactly what you want first time, every time. Built-in code review means you catch bugs early, way before they hit production, way before customers see them. You catch them while you're coding, you, you fix them in seconds. Instant grep means you're not waiting around. You're finding what you need and moving fast. This adds up every search you do every day, that's minutes saved, then hours, then days. 
Let me show you the real use cases. Let's say you're building a new feature. You start by asking Cursor to plan it. It asks you clarifying questions. You answer them. It generates a detailed plan. Then the agent starts building based on that plan. As it builds, the code review runs automatically. It catches a bug in your API call. You fix it in 10 seconds. Then you need to find everywhere a function is used. You run instant grep results in one second. You refactor the function. The browser agent tests it. Everything works feature shipped. That entire workflow used to take hours or days. Now it takes minutes. Or let's say you're bug hunting. You get a report that something's broken. You use instant grep to find every place that code is called. You review the code with the AI reviewer. It spots the problem. You fix it. You test it in the browser. Done. No more digging through files manually. The tools find it for you. It for now, here's what you need to know about getting started. First, you need to upgrade to Cursor 2.1. Go to the Cursor website and download the latest version. It's free to upgrade if you already have Cursor. Second, check the changelog. They list all the features and how to use them. The link is in the description. Third, some features like instant grep are rolling out gradually. So if you don't see it yet, wait a few days. Fourth, start using these features right away. Open a project. Ask the agent to plan something, trigger a code review, do a grep search, get familiar with the new workflow. Let me recap what we covered. Cursor 2.1 has three major features. One, improved plan mode with clarifying questions and searchable plans. Two, AI code reviews built right into your editor. Three, instant grep that searches your entire code base in under a second, plus improved browser support for testing and debugging. All of this combines to make you faster and less likely to ship bugs. This is the biggest update Cursor has ever released. And if you code, you need to upgrade today. Now, before you go, remember what I said about the AI Profit Boardroom. If you're serious about using AI to scale your business and save time, you need to join. We're covering tools like Cursor in depth. We're showing you exactly how to automate your workflows. And we're building a community of people who are actually doing this stuff, not just talking about it, actually doing it. The link's in the description at school.com slash AIProfitLab7462 slash about. Go check it out right now. Here's the thing most people don't understand about AI coding tools. They think it's just about typing faster, but that's not it at all. It's about thinking faster. It's about testing faster. It's about fixing faster. Cursor 2.1 isn't replacing you as a developer. It's making you superhuman. You're still making the decisions. You're still solving the problems. You're still building the products, but now you have an AI assistant that never sleeps, never gets tired, never makes the same mistake twice. And that's what separates developers who are thriving right now from developers who are stuck. The ones who are winning are the ones using these tools, not fighting them, not ignoring them, using them. So if you take one thing from this video, take this. The future isn't about AI replacing developers. It's about developers with AI replacing developers without AI. Think about that. All right, that's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think of Cursor 2.1. Julian Goldie reads every single comment, so make sure you comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.